So yeah, we've got a special guest here, Mark, uh, the Hammer Cold. What do you, is he helping you out for for the fight on Saturday? Is he just here with moral support? Show uh, Ohio strong. Moral support, number one. Moral <laughs> support. Hey, no. guys, hey, that's important. Moral support is important, right? Absolutely. Okay. Make sure yeah. I feel important. I would say he's the godfather of ground and pound, the grandfather of the immortal. Oh, man. Now we're, you know, it was a good team, man. You know, we, we've known each other for a long time, but our paths were always like this. Now we came together and we got a, a very strong thing going on here and it's going to show Saturday, you know, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be the best that I've ever been, honestly. Was he an influence on you growing up in your career? Oh, absolutely. Especially growing up in Columbus and yeah, I mean, he influenced everybody. Everybody in this room was influenced by this guy. Have you followed him since he's been on his road to recovery? No, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I knew him when he was just getting started at these smaller shows. I was, I was the champ. I'd see him at these smaller shows, and uh, we just kind of shake and hug. But you can't look back. But damn, I wish he would, just would have said, "Let can we train together?" I would have said, "Hell yeah, Matt Brown, you are." Hammer House, but we did it. So my, my first ever amateur fight, he was there. <laughs> and he, he, what he, was that like, seeing him in the crowd? Well, he wasn't in the crowd. He was actually oh. backstage and gave a, Corners. he just came back from oh, Pride, got kicked in the leg by, I don't know who, I don't know what fight Crow it was. Crow Cop's the only one me in the leg. I think it must have been Crow Cop. And he's giving a, a motivational speech to all the fighters. They go out there and fight hard. And he said, well, don't forget about them leg kicks. Some sons of bitches hurt. <laughs> well. I'll never forget that. And me and Random in the first with hand rounds, we said, we said, bring them on. Bring them leg kicks on. They don't fucking hurt. We're going to double leg you. Oh, geez. Yeah. If you if you catch one at the wrong angle. Famous last words. It's going to hurt. Yeah. But no, we, we met up at the right time. And uh, I think it, it's just. Stars aligned. He brought me back. He brought me back from life yeah. or from death or whatever you want to call it. But uh, he coming back too. Yeah. But I, I think I've been three months. So much. I try to bring energy to the room. Maybe I give a tip here and there. I don't try to teach no jujitsu. You know what I mean? A little bit, maybe. Speaking of legs, uh, how is yours? That seems to be the yeah. issue that kept you out for the last year. It was the it was a knee, then it was the ankle. How are things now? Uh, it's very good. I'm ready to go. I watched a, a video from you earlier this year, and it kind of seemed like you could take or leave fighting. Like you, you know, you were very happy with coaching. Uh, what shifted you back to the mindset where you wanted to make this your number one priority? Well, I, I could um, give you a pretty long answer to that. Um, to make it as quick as possible, I'd say, you know, inspiring the next generation, particularly my kids, students in my gym. Um, part of like opening a gym in Columbus, Ohio, was I want to bring the level up there. I want to inspire and lead and bring Columbus MMA to a level it should be, like Albuquerque or Vegas or, or you know Florida. I mean, this is what we should have there. We got all the talent, we just don't have the leader. Um, so the only way for me to do that is to go out there and keep doing it. Speaking of the next generation, we got the first generation here, the next generation here, and then we got fighters like Colby who came even later. What do you make of the sport as it is right now? A uh, guy like Colby, who's on top of the card, made his bones by talking a lot of trash and uh, going after people. What does that say about our, where our sport's at right now? Well, it's not for me, and um, I don't promote that sort of lifestyle or attitude. And I don't think the sport needs it. But on the on the on the flip side of the coin, good for him. He's out getting paid, making a lot of money, getting a lot of publicity. Um, the only thing specifically with him. You know, and they kind of did the same. They just crossed the line a couple of times, you know, they, like um, particularly talking about the the relative to Glenn Robinson, you know, like you can't be doing that, man. you know, that's crossing the line. Uh, the sort of the fallout with Masvidal, like, you know, this is, you can't lose your, your dignity and your, your honor, you know, it's, it's cool to go out there and talk and, put on a show and put on that mask and go out and be a character. And I don't have nothing against that, but you know, you, you can't, there's lines and I think you just crossed them. What are you looking forward to most about your matchup with uh, Ben? Oh, to punch him in the face, maybe a uh, elbow to the face. 
Have your goals changed at all since you decided to do this again? Well, the, I, I think before on that on that note, yeah, you know, the before it was about I got to win, I got to win, I got to win. I want to get to the title, get you know, bigger fight, bigger this and that. Now it's about improving myself, right? I, I'm not even, I, I don't even, Ben is nothing. He's just a test of myself. He's gonna teach me about myself in there. And that's what it's all about is myself. And Mark, if you could give us a preview of the motivational speech that you're gonna give Matt on Saturday. <laughs> I've been told to shut the fuck up, man. Matt Brown said, Coleman, you, I, I did yeah, enough. I did, you got on there. <laughs> I did enough talking for the last three months, but you know, when it gets down to crunch time, hey, there ain't much to say. There ain't nothing left to say. The guy did his homework, he's prepared, and uh, I'm excited to be here. He ain't just coming back to, I don't think he, I don't think he's just coming back to win this fight. My man wants the belt. Um, don't talk about Kobe. He gonna, he gonna whoop Kobe's ass. That's, that's what I'm thinking for him. I hope he's thinking the same thought. If not, you know, fill me in. Am I right? One fight at a time. One, hey, one fight at a time, but not always. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Inside joke. All right. Enough said. Thanks, guys.